Gundam.tk presents Crossbone Gundam X2. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2Rs2Bs, GundamReviews.net, and today is not a review per se, but again, I'm just taking a look at a custom paint job. This time it's the Crossbone Gundam X2, which is, of course, part of the long line of Crossbone Gundams from the manga, Crossbone Gundam, if you can sense a theme here. The manga being first serialized in Kadokawa Ace, and then they had Skullheart for a one issue, followed up by Steel 7, which was in Gundam Ace, and it was written by Yoshiyuki Tomino originally, with art and more than from Hasegawa Yuichi. Crossbone Gundam was a sequel of F91, so it makes sense that both heroes and villains from the line will be showing up. So Siba Carno ends up piloting the X1 for the first six issues anyway, and Zabine Charal, who piloted the Burgagiros, and you can see this review coming up shortly on Gundam.tk. He ended up taking this Black Vanguard theme and applying it to the F-97, which is the Crossbone Gundam X-2. For the paints that were used, right or wrong, this is Mr. Color Spray and Mr. Color all over the place. This is number two black, and the minute that I put it on my first test piece, I realized that it came out glossy because I didn't read the name very carefully. This is glossy black. You have to choose a different number, of course, if you want to get a matte finish. And perhaps I should have gone with Midnight Blue, which was what they call for for the Burgagiros, and this would have come across as a lot duller, as opposed to this sort of glossy race car kind of finish, if you want to call it that. The purple is number 67, and this is number 4. It's not the perfect Gundam yellow, but anyway, it'll do for that third tertiary color. Here is the non-grade Burgagiros, and this is right out of the box with no paint applications. You can see that the purple, there's some plastic and some seals on there. So where you're going to have plastic, you can see that the color is going to be a little bit different from the paint color I chose. This yellow is actually out of a can too, it's not going to be yellow out of the box. But anyway, what do you think of this out of the box compared to that painted? It probably would have been better if they were more similar. But let it not be said that the X2 has no plastic models whatsoever because it actually does have an SD super deformed version. And you can see here that the colors are going to be, the purple is not that far off, but again it's much more of the similar color and plastic to the Burgagiros as opposed to this chromey shiny black. If I had used Midnight Blue, the color recommended for the Burgagiros, he would have come across as looking a lot more like this, Black CeraVe or CeraVe 2. Yes, one of these things is not like the others. The X2 went through some Kai revisions itself and actually should look quite different from the X1, but the weapons here, they're all just painted up from the X1, so you've got your knives. You can actually switch this off if you want to have a skull on the chest instead of the mark, which I've still got to put on. You can do these, the screw whips for the back, and for the blaster I didn't do any painting, but for this I figured I'd actually use that, so I put some effort in to put the yellow on, which you've just got to be careful when you're putting the black on around that with your careful taping. You've got the brand markers if you want to go ahead and do that, and the scissor anchors if you want to use those. I just painted those up in black, but his most famous weapon, dating back to the Burgagiros, has to be... The Shot Lancer, which instead of doing a custom or anything like that, I just borrowed it from the Burgagiros and painted it up in the same black that you've seen elsewhere on the kit. You've just got this in terms of movability. What can you do with it? Well, you can stretch this part out, this will go all the way out, and it's going to look very, very cheesy. So not something that you'll probably display too often. But in terms of the rest of the parts, I tried experimenting with a few of the decals just to see how they'd look, and they sort of add a degree of realism, but I'm probably not going to take the time to put them all over the rest of the Gundam. This is painted silver at the end, this is the same purple as the rest, and for the handle I just added a little bit of purple there, but unfortunately, this being an old 91 kit for the Burgagiros, this stuff of course is not going to work well in his hand, nor on the X2, so some sticky tack or glue is going to be your friend. Now unfortunately the Lancer isn't going to fit in there all that well, because it's supposed to have the brand marker generators there, which is going to get him in the way with these parts here that are going to fit around the forearm, so some cutting and some spray painting again may be required to get this to actually function, and there's a little bit of sticky tack in there pretty much holding everything together. So if you move it too much, it's not going to work, but once you add that kind of weapon, then he starts to look like the X2 and not just a repainted X1, because really the X2, especially the Kai, should have a whole bunch of differences, including the thrusters that would really set him apart, not to mention the V-fins. But anyway, this is the best you can do with just a straight repaint. Well, not really the best you can do, but you know what I mean. And now he's looking more like somebody you probably don't want to mess with in Gundam Extreme Versus, or pretty much 
any other context. In terms of the future, you really have to wonder, there's so many things, we actually got a Kubli Mark II, so you'd think that there is the possibility that older kits could be getting repaints, and especially with the X2 and the X3, and now a new series coming out, you'd think that there'd be more, even more opportunity for Bandai to sell some recolors and some remolds, just redo a few of the things, and anyway, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. But in the meantime, this guy was a lot of fun to paint, uh, the spray cans are pretty easy to use, just I sprayed them on the sprues. Uh, I'm not necessarily that crazy about the black, but then again, what's done is done, and maybe I don't think I'll do another one. I'd prefer to wait for one from Bandai, but why don't you let me know? Feedback's always appreciated, because I am still a very rookie painter by any leap of the imagination, so any suggestions and hints would be great, and I look forward to seeing what kind of releases we get from the future from Bandai. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Robert, what are you for? Good to have you here. Stay tuned for lots more painted and mostly unpainted. Good guys, bad guys, and everything in between. See you next time. I don't like any of the Crossbone Gundam series that were in Gundam Ace or are in Gundam Ace because they don't have enough me. Sadly, is G Generation and their cutscenes and movies, is that going to be the only place where these epic battles actually get animated, or could that change in the future?